Lee team, the purpose of this video is to introduce you to a phenomenal learning resource by the name of Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a great video sharing resource where students can safely share video of themselves for academic purposes. I usually ask all of my students to come into Clever. That's usually always step one. So step one is you're gonna head into Clever. Step two is that you're gonna click on the Google Drive button. After you click on the Google Drive button, a, a new tab will open and you will probably see the blue button that says continue. After you click on the blue button that says continue, I'm gonna take you all the way over to Google Classroom. When you get into Google Classroom, please open our Google Classroom space. When you get into our Google Classroom space, I want you to open the Flipgrid assignment. Now, this is the old view of Google Classroom. You will see the new view of Google Classroom, and that's okay. Um, just go ahead and open up that assignment, please. Once you open up the assignment, you are going to see a web link on the screen in front of you. Go ahead and click that web link one time. When you get to this page, you are going to click log in with Google. So it authenticates that you are a part of my classroom. After I click log in with Google, your name is going to pop up on the screen in front of you. Please click one time on your name inside this little white box. After you click on your name, then you are going to arrive at the Flipgrid space. The Flipgrid space is a space that is moderated and organized by your teacher for academic and community building purposes. Your teacher might ask you things related to digital citizenship. How would you encourage uh, a new student at your school to behave in an ethical and kind fashion online? Maybe that could be a topic your teacher would post. Or maybe your teacher would ask you, what are some math strategies you used in chapter five, lesson two, that might help someone in our classroom who is struggling with that math idea? And your teacher might use this as a peer teaching space. Your teacher will probably use this for a variety of different ways. So once you arrive here, Look at the instructions that are located here on the top left in order to respond to the assignment excellently. Down here you will see, sorry, some trackpads go the opposite direction that I expect them to. Right down here on the left, you're gonna see a plus symbol. When I click one time on the plus symbol, um, sometimes you're gonna see a box that appears up in the corner that says, hey, by the way, we're going to use your microphone and we're gonna use your camera. So I'm here in the library. And maybe you didn't know this, but every computer that we have here on campus has a built-in camera and it has a built-in microphone. If for some reason your microphone is not functioning properly, check down on the keyboard, please. Usually the F4 button is the microphone button and the microphone can get turned on or off. So if you're recording your video and something's going wrong over and over again, just make sure that that button has either been selected or deselected so your microphone functions properly. Whenever I record videos for YouTube, I always use my wireless beats and then I always use the cord because there's a microphone built in and the audio quality is more superior than simply just using the microphone that's available inside of the computer. For this assignment right now, the video and the microphone that are a part of the computer are gonna work, and work just perfectly, but that's why I have the beats on. So on the screen in front of you, um, you'll notice how up in one corner, it shows that your maximum recording time is only one minute and 30 seconds. So I have to go the opposite of what I think. Uh, over here in this corner, it's a maximum of one minute and 30 seconds. Um, and then the button right down here is going to stop or pause my recording. If you start talking, but you wanna pause part way through, and you wanna catch your breath or <laughs> clear your throat, you can actually continue recording just by hitting that button all over again. So I'm gonna reach forward and I'm gonna click the red button and then I'm gonna pretend that this is my introduction. Hi, I'm Mrs. Culver and I am the technology coach for the Clovis North area. I serve on five different campuses. I serve 3,800 students. 
I work with 135 teachers and then additional support staff and administration staff beyond that. Uh, it is my joy to teach teachers and students about a variety of different facets of learning. And Flipgrid is just one of many resources that adds to the discussion in the classroom. It maximizes student voice and it gives teachers an opportunity to hear what their students are thinking. Likewise, it is a fantastic peer teaching tool. Students can teach others about writing strategies, science, math, uh, or how to find a good book in the library. So I hope you enjoy Flipgrid as much as I do. So I leaned forward and then I clicked the pause button. And um, when you look at the circle down at the bottom, you'll see how it's a little bit more than halfway around the circle. Likewise, up in the corner, you'll see how I've recorded a little bit more than half of the 90 seconds that I had an opportunity to record. On the screen right below my chin, it says that I'm supposed to use the right arrow when I'm done. If you are totally dissatisfied with the video that you just did, um, the video is opposite, so it's almost like I'm functioning in a mirror, if you will. Um, the little trash can over here would let you completely redo the video if you wanted to, um, if you don't like the first one. And it's absolutely okay if you need to record your first video four or five times. Um, I've had a few students where it's just really strange to be on video. It's strange to be recorded. And so um, they have to gather their thoughts and actually think about what they're going to say on the video before they start recording. So if you make a few mistakes, that's okay. I hope you understand this is a safe place to make mistakes. By the way, I don't think I mentioned this earlier. All of these videos are moderated. That means that your teacher has to click a button on his or her dashboard before your video ever goes live. So um, if you feel the need to be funny and try to post something that's unacceptable, your teacher has prevented that from going live. So use your time wisely, use your teacher's time wisely, only post things that are wonderful and helpful and wise, beneficial, lovely, those sorts of things. So I'm gonna click on the next button right here. I work with 135 teachers and then additional. I'm at Mrs. Culver and I'm the technology coach for the Clovis. I'm at Mrs. Culver and I'm the technology coach for the Clovis North area. I serve on five different campuses. I serve three. Sorry about that. I have not found a pause button on that specific screen. And you've already seen that portion of the video, so I don't need to make you watch it all over again. But there were little scissors on either side. So if I wanted to trim the video a little bit from the front or the back, you can actually use those little scissors to kind of slide in and out if you want to. So um, this portion of the video is where I take a small picture of myself. Um, and it sort of is the little tiny thumbnail that introduces people to the video. So if you want to squeeze in, look, at, look up at the camera, sort of, you know, whatever. Some students like to pose. I just... I just smile. All right. So at this point in time, you can't see my face anymore. Um, moving, that is. You can still clearly see my face. Um, and then over here, you can use um, sort of this pen strategy over here and multiple colors if you wanted to write things. Uh, I'm going to click the redo button. Um, I didn't need the whole thing to be redone. Uh, but if you want some little um, button or sticker or something added to your picture, then um, you can add some stickers from over here on the right. A hamburger, a cheeseburger, a ruler, a ping pong paddle, a car, whatever uh, is interesting to you. You can post those things. Uh, and once you are completely satisfied with your video, you're going to click the submit button. Congratulations, your video has been recorded and it will be live once your teacher approves it. Click the complete button. And here you will notice how the job has been completed or the task has been completed. I can click the complete button over here. And where is my video? Well, you know what? Your teacher on his or her dashboard is the one who has permission to approve that video. And then your video will go live in this space and your classmates can watch it. Uh, let me pause the video for just a second and then I'll put that video live in here and then I'll show you what you can do with it. All right, so here I am, I'm back. Uh, I went over to the teacher dashboard and I approved this video. Uh, and so the video that I just did using a ch child's account is now live. So 
as the teacher approves each of those videos, they will appear live on your screen right here. Now you get to watch that video by clicking on it. And that is quite loud. Sorry about that. Um, so you would carefully watch the entire thing, but I'm just showing you that it truly is indeed a video right here. Um, the volume button is right here if you feel like the volume is too loud. Uh, and then I have the opportunity to like this video. So it's the idea of mic dropping uh, is what they do, um, what they call it here in Flipgrid land. The moderation level, I haven't provided you an opportunity as the classroom students um, to do anything other than the mic drop. Um, sometimes if the teacher chooses, the teacher can turn around um, and provide you an opportunity to do video responses to each other uh, and provide feedback to each other. I really like what you said. That was profound. That made me think. Thank you for sharing those ideas, whatever. In the event your teacher accidentally approves a video, um, hopefully that doesn't happen, but in the event there's a video that ever comes to your um, classroom Flipgrid area that needs to be reported, you, the child, can actually click on this button right here and report that video and your teacher would be notified that something went wrong and he or she should probably delete it or get rid of it. Uh, I enjoy Flipgrid. I think it's a fantastic space for children to interact with one another and to expand their learning and use their voice. Um, once you're finished watching a, vi a video, go ahead and click on the X up here. And then when that next video arrives, click on it, click on the next one, and then click, 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 and so on. This needs to be a safe space. I'm gonna say that slowly and I'm going to repeat myself. This needs to be a safe space. Uh, our learning and environment at all times needs to be a safe environment. So please don't jeopardize our ability to use this as an amazing learning space. Uh, by making poor decisions here. Uh, let's leave this a safe, healthy, happy, fantastic learning environment so we can keep um, using this space over and over again. One last thought over here, nothing prevents you from doing a second video or a third video. Don't feel like you're limited to just one video. Uh, and be patient with your teacher because it could take a little while to watch all of those videos. Um, by the way, by the way, in the gear right here, you can actually speed it up. Um, and I personally watch YouTube videos um, sometimes in a faster speed. Um, sometimes it's a little bit comedic, a little bit funny. Um, you can hear me in chip, chipmunk speed uh, in 2.0 speed. Um, and then I'll click play. I don't necessarily think that everyone should watch it in that speed. As the teacher, if I wanna push out a whole bunch of videos in a very short amount of time, I'm probably gonna watch them in the 1.5 speed or the 2.0 speed, just to make sure you have access to that content quickly. As a child, I don't know that I really want you watching it in super fast speed. Slowly digest that information, please, and thank you. Thanks again for watching and have a fantastic day.